Hello and welcome back to Nidite Lane where we are heading down to the southeast of our territory because we're gonna try and kill some beavers preferably without angering too much else of the uh, local wildlife. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because uh, well there's lots of wildlife mixed in. Okay, so how we're going to do this is um, we'll get three of us down here. We'll get three of us up here. Right, those three can attack that boom rat. Those three can attack that beaver. Oh! Okay, that was unexpected. So, Lou was so delighted with how well we looked after her after she'd been in a fight with Nordic that she would now like to stay. She's steadfast and she's a nudist. I am sure that nobody would want to turn Lou away. And as much as that's going to anger the chief even more, I think we'll accept her. New recruit. Wow. Lou happily decided to join our colony. Uh, yeah, so the chief is going to be really upset about that. Um, let's just check. We are still friends. I think at worst. I don't think it'll make us enemies anyway. Um, she's 47. She is wearing tattered apparel. We might want to do something about that. Um... We haven't got a bed for her. We can make that a non-bed. And um, yeah, well, uh, well, actually, Lou, do you want to go and rest until healed? And we'll sort you out tomorrow and we'll have a look at, at everything. Oh, this was all the stuff that we sold. What's that? Oh, and a machine pistol. Uh, Lou, before you go to bed, would you mind just going and equipping that? And uh, and then I'll get you to rest till heal. Then I'll just have a look and see what's going on down with the hunters. Uh-oh, grizzly bear revenge is a really bad thing. Okay. So, uh, you guys, how about you back off? Okay, that was good. Now, uh, hopefully that's not mad. No, he's just wondering. Right, you three? Come over uh, here. You three come over here because we've still got more beavers to sort out. Um, Minty, can you come down here? Right. Uh, you three up there, you three can target that one, you three can attack that one. Okay, you three 
And what else have we got in the way of beavers? Mm, they're all over here. Okay, so you three come over here. Come and attack that. You three over here. Oh, who shot someone? Uh, can you three carry on shooting that thing? Uh, more beavers up here. Can you please attack that? Well, we've got a raccoon. Okay, you guys um, attack that one. Okay, very good. Um, you can come over here and finish off that. Let's just see how many beavers are left. Just the one? All right, yeah, Minty, you can go. So they can be unrestricted. And it's time to start hauling, guys. Right, Eki. You can haul that apple. You can haul that Anubis. You can haul that. Um, somebody needed to consume that simple meal first. Okay, Apple, eat the food and then come and haul that back. Uh, you three, come here. And if I just pop around that side and Spidey, you just step back a little bit and now shoot it. Very good. Okay, so that's allowable. Um, oh, that's only downed. Do you know, we might just leave that. Let it bleed out and come and collect it tomorrow night. <laughs> that sounds like a... Alright, go haul that. Spidey. Hold that. Melon. No, it never does hauling. Okay, you go do your thing. Oh, I'll tell you what, Melon. Seems as you won't do any hauling. How about... You come here. And just finish off... This bear. Hopefully you're so close you won't miss it and you won't shoot anything else. Mm, right, very good. Okay, you can run now. Um, we'll just look right. Nordic, can you... Oh, good. He's come down to butcher that. Uh, almond... I'm not sure that you haul. Oh yes, you do. Deadlock? Um, we will... Actually, deadlock... I can do it from here, can't I? Let you out for once and you can come haul some meat. Uh, 
Ooh, and that's a lot of breakfast. Uh, let's see, is there anybody who is both happy and... Oh, Eki's... Yeah, 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 we should lose... Eki must have been shot, did he? Was he? Oh, no, he just needs treating for his asthma. Fine. Okay, just want to make sure these last bits get taken in. Uh, I'm actually in need of rest and food and all kinds. There's so much game around now that I don't think we're at risk of being attacked by aggressive animals unless the animals actually go mad. I think there's so much, especially out here, for them to eat. I don't think they'll bother with us. Um, could do with someone coming and collecting that. How about Nordic? Would you mind? Yeah, can't can't tell them to come out and butcher it. Oh gosh, Apple's in a really bad mood. But he's getting rest, so that should sort him out. Almond? You're hauling? Could you, once you've finished hauling, if you could then come and get this grizzly. Well, Lou, what are you doing? Would you mind hauling this grizzly? Apple, Mir and Eki are all in a bad way. Um, but I think a lot of it will be sorted out by just having some sleep. Yeah, definitely for Eki. Definitely for Apple. What about Mia? Mia needs some joy, which I think he's sorting out now. Okay, so we have sorted out the beavers. And we've got, oh, that's right, Lou is a nudist. Well, we'll get her to, um, to drop her clothes back in camp. Little pain share, bedroom, slept in the ground, constraining clothes, yeah. She's constraining clothes and she doesn't, I think she was also wearing tattered apparel as well, so just getting rid of the clothes will be a good thing. I think this is the last of the... Uh, of the meat to be brought in. Yep, looks that way. I think everything that we killed is now about to become breakfast. Marvellous. And there's no beavers left on the map. Very good. Okay, everybody's now close to home and safe again. All right, and we're back to working on our base. Everybody's schedule's a bit out of kilter now because we, uh, we were up all night hunting lots of creatures. Very good. Let's 
So on this side here now we want to mine down there. And here we want to mine there. And that will keep Nordic busy of course. Oh now actually floors. Oh of course we finished carpet. Nice. Now Boris wanted uh, I think it was it the blue check carpet in here. So we want blue check carpet to there. Anubis wanted fuchsia. We don't have anything that's even vaguely like fuchsia. But under this light, I think the orange check carpet might look quite fuchsia-y. Uh, ah, right, Lou's back. And so if we say Lou, you prefer to be a nudist. So yeah, fulfill your fantasy. Minty will be delighted. Uh, yeah, I was thinking floors. We should have the sandstone slabs inside like that, shouldn't we? And here, if I haven't already, looks like I haven't. Right, how are our major break risks getting on? Apple, Mia and Eki. So Eki, how's your needs? Your rest is better, but you're hungry and you need some joy. We should be able to sort that out. Mia? Um, Mia's been hitting on Melon instead of me these days, but still to the same result, I'm afraid. Oh, and areas. Uh, this area. Come on, that's it. We need to increase this area to here. And we want to smooth the rest of the floor and we want to haul those out. And since as we have found steel, we want to do a little bit more of that. Okay, so Apple, Mir and Eki have sorted themselves out. They're, they're feeling a lot better now. And there's fine meals being made which will cheer everybody up. Oh, Spidey is hitting on somebody. It might have been Deadlock. Right, and we could do with some lights in here. So I think we'll do the same. What do we have in here? We've got a mixture of yellows and oranges. And it, I think it's the oranges that make it look... Um, nice and warm. So we'll get some lights put in here. Power, how are we doing? Yep, yeah, power wants to come down to here and down to here. And we need to get all of this stuff back into storage so we can sell it again. <laughs> ah, good. Yep, yeah, someone's starting to take care of that.
More steel. Very good. Good job we did uh, expand our freezer. All that meat that we've just brought in, all this food we're making. Well. Very good. A pleasant surprise. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So the orange and the pink lighting does indeed make a fuchsia carpet. Anubis will be delighted. Everyone's getting about bringing the stuff in. Oh, hang on. Uh, that's not medical. And it is Nordic's bed. Where's Nordic? There he is. Okay, and that is all for today in Nidite Lane. Um, a new recruit, very welcome, uh, completely unexpected and I'm sure everyone will be delighted that she's another nudist. Um, yeah, we haven't even looked at her skills or what she does or anything about her yet. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at Lou in the next episode and yeah, just uh, see what we think. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. There were four of them, all houses, together in Nidite Lane. Together lived Boris and Anubis. Anubis is always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic, and Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy. Cause Apple and Melon always had domestics But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in Because Power Suit Sal kept Mir in the closet They all lived together in Nidite Lane A colourful place to be They all lived together in Nidite Lane Although together is a little bit subjective at Boris's and Anubis's, there was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, cause it was Anubis's Canadian cousin, drunk Spider-Man, and a little sad as helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, the gist Hand them on to the next surrogate parents. They all live together in Nidite Lane. A colourful place to be. They all live together in Nidite Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. It seems they pissed off the neighbours. Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children But that's just Boris No one questions him Cause that's what happens In Midnight Lane